Today we're talking about click fraud or click fraud prevention and protection. What is it? How much is it costing you? And how you can prevent it today? Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Mike Mancini, a Google Ads agency owner for the last nine years. So a lot of people hear the term click fraud and they're not quite sure what it is. So we're gonna walk through uh, exactly what it is, give you some examples, give you some examples and show you exactly how much it's costing some of your campaigns and how you can stop it from happening right now. So click fraud is basically bad clicks that are happening to your Google Ads or paid search campaigns. Click fraud can happen in a multitude of ways. One being your competitors actually clicking your ads, trying to basically spend your budget. Another way can be if someone clicks one of your ads and they go to your landing page, they don't find what they're looking for, but they click that back button and they get back to the next, to that previous page and your ad is still showing up. If they click it again, you're charged for two clicks. Okay, whether they're going to buy or not. Click fraud can be clicks from bots or automated bots that are traveling around the web that are clicking ads. Some of those bots are basically hired or overseas companies that um, you can hire to go click your competitors' campaigns. Some of those clicks will come from outside the country as well. So if you have a local service business, you don't want your ads being seen or clicked from other countries. Now, while Google Ads does a pretty good job of weeding a lot of that out, it's not perfect. As you can see, on paid search campaigns, an average of 14% of clicks are from non-genuine sources or click fraud. And this is a number that we've seen pretty much over the last several years stay right about that, about 15%. However, it does vary depending on the industry that you're in. As you can see, on-demand service industries, such as plumbing and pest control, can see up to 60% click fraud on their paid ads. That's 60% of their budget that's being completely wasted. So how do we deal with that? How, what do we do to stop click fraud from happening? Well, we use a click fraud software called ClickSeas. Now, this is a software that I personally use. I've used it on dozens of Google Ads campaigns and I've used it for more than a year. Let me hop in and show you exactly what it's doing and how it works. So here we are inside one of our ClickSeas accounts. And as you can see in the last 30 days, you can see just how much money this has saved each one of these campaigns. You can see $486, $155, it has saved this account. Now let's hop into one of these accounts and show you exactly what's happening. So what it does is it establishes a threat level for these accounts. As you can see, most of these clicks, the threat level was low, which 57% came from mobile, 27% from desktop, 14 of these clicks bounced. Now that could be because the landing page went down, uh, for whatever reason, but these clicks bounced. Now, this area, over threshold, that means it's two. Each individual account, we set a threshold for those accounts. Now, that threshold can be, if somebody clicks the ad once, they cannot be shown that ad again for seven days, 14 days, 30 days, whatever it may be. And ClickSeas gives us different options based on your industry. If we look into a different account here, you can see that this one had 22 over threshold clicks. So somebody didn't find what they were looking for, they went back and click cease stop them from taking additional action. Also, you can see this one had a VPN, which is a virtual private network block. Some people on the slimy side will do searches through virtual private networks so to protect their identity. So they can go in and click as many ads as they want without being so-called tracked. Well, when ClickSee sees this, it automatically blocks those people. And you can go in and you can manage these specific rules for every account that you have or for your just personal account. So you can click here and it says suggest rules and you can choose your industry. So if you're in the automotive industry, it says allow up to two clicks within one hour allow up to three clicks within 14 days, allow up to four clicks within 30 days. What it does is they've taken all this data from all these industries and all these spending that they have in their system and they're saying this is probably one of the best rules for your industry. But as you can see, if you use, like this happens to be a pest control campaign, they're saying block all clicks after the first click. 
Now, this only blocks them for 30 days, but it's because of a high rate of competitors going in and clicking other people's ads with absolutely no intention of spending money with that company. You can go down and you can block uh, IPs based on country. So we actually set it to block any clicks coming from outside of the United States. You can block VPNs, which we obviously do. There are a number of different settings that you can do within each account. And the way to get it set up is extremely simple. You just log into the domain settings. You literally click here, you connect your Google Ads account. You basically give them the ID and then it shows you exactly how to go into your Google Ads account and accept the protection. Then you just take a simple tracking code and you put it on your website so that it lets ClickSees know, hey, this is the area that we are protecting. And it takes less than five minutes to set up on your Google Ads campaigns. But what I want to show you is exactly how much this affects a campaign. So for example, this account here, it saved them $486 over the last 30 days. They're getting conversions at about $50 a piece. So what that has allowed us to do is block that bad ad spend. That money goes right back into the campaign and that has allowed us to get an additional nine conversions for that campaign. This account right here, $155 of ad spend saved. That campaign is converting at $15 a conversion. So that gets us an additional 10 conversions for that company. Now, with full disclosure, all of that money is not going right back into those campaigns. However, what it, ha what it does is ClickSees creates a report. And after about 90 days, we submit that report to Google. And the process is very simple. Google will go through figure out which ones are legit, and they will end up crediting our account for those bad clicks. Now you may be asking, okay, this all sounds too good to be true. This has got to be extremely expensive. How much does it run? And that is the best part. If you are only running a Google ads campaign for yourself or your company, ClickSees runs you only $59 a month, and that will protect you up to 5,000 clicks. So unless you have a very large budget or you're getting more than 5,000 clicks, this is so worth the money. If you have an agency, which I teach a lot of people how to start their own agencies, this is a no brainer. You can protect all of the accounts that you work with, every one of your clients for a total of $79 a month. And is it worth it? As you can see in the last 30 days, we have saved $6,622 just across these specific campaigns. And what that does is that means more money is going back into my clients' campaigns. They are making more money because they are getting more leads and they are wasting less money on click fraud. We are preventing that from happening and funneling that money back into their campaigns. But for $79 a month to save up to six or $7,000 is obviously a no brainer for us and our agency. So if you are interested in ClickSees down below, there is a link in the description area. This is an affiliate link, but it really does help us out if you click it. It's the same price for you, but we get a little bit of commission for talking about the service that we have actually used for more than a year. Have you dealt with click fraud in the past? Are you dealing with click fraud prevention right now? Let us know in the comments section below just how much you think it's cost you or how much you've saved. I'd love to hear about it and let other people know that this is a real problem that we have a solution for right here. So once again, there's a link down in the description area below. This is a tool I truly believe in and have been using for quite a while on dozens of Google Ads campaigns. So if you found some great value in this video, please do me a favor, hit that like button below, hit subscribe and that little bell icon, it really helps us out in the eyes of YouTube. And if you wanna see some more videos on how to run your Google Ads campaigns or how to start and run your very own Google Ads agency, you will see a couple of those over to the right-hand side. Thanks so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it and we'll see you next time.